in this video we're going to be looking at the 2019 technical drawing mechanical drawing um, paper 2 exam specifically we're going to be looking at section 2 the sketch and design portion now here I have the question in front of me now things are a bit blurry because my source where I got the image here is not too good but we'll try to make um, sense of what is going on here despite the blurriness so it says that section 2 sketch and design they say not that you should not spend more than 30 minutes on this section and it says make a well neat proportional orthographic sketch to illustrate the specified engineering conventions in each of the following we have one a orthographic elevation view to illustrate a diamond knurling and external screw tread and then b orthographic sectional view um, to illustrate internal threading um, counter sunk hole and counter bore hole and all of that is 30 marks so let's get into things and we're going to start things off with our diamond knurling all right so diamond knurling so knurlings are basically um, embossed patterns on um, what do you call this um, like screws and nuts those type of, well not nuts but like some form of screws all right so these basically add friction surface to um, screws so for example if you want to use your hand to tighten it things like that and the type of knurling it is is dependent or how it looks will dependent on it will be dependent on its name so I'm going to start to start things off by first drawing my diamond knurling all right I'm just going to um, draw a little rectangle um, the dimensions for it um, it's a sketch so it's not all that important um, I'm going to make mine probably like this for my diamond knurling right, that's just good enough I'll draw another rectangle as well probably like this all right. All right, let me just move this and place it where in the center right there all right so I'm gonna have it like that in terms of like the diamond knurling the pattern that is going to be here um, let me just draw something across here just to kind of depict what is going on here um, let me turn this off for a little while do something like this back down and yeah probably like that all right, let me just do some trimming up there as well and here and here all right um for the diamond knurling portion what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using the hatch pattern here and i'm going to find one of the hatch pattern that looks like um diamond so something crossing each other so this almost like this but not a quite so let's go through and see starting from the top oh here we do click inside here and there we have some diamond pattern that could be your diamond knurling what i'm going to be doing from here is that i'm going to be cleaning things up a bit um for clarity all right so i'm right about there and let me just copy or off yeah let me copy it to my right a bit um, probably a little bit here and I'll just mirror it to the other side nope there we go and then I'm going to be trimming away the middle grab out this TR enter get rid of that and this is our diamond knurling all right now you do not have to use this brick but I'm just using this for um, this purpose here so I'm going to just add my my label um, using text here text size I'm going to let me just start things off with three first I'm going to write a diamond knurling so E I um, A M um, O N T um, I think it's K um, N U R knurling. Right now, if that is too small, let me just double the size of this here. Scaling up by two. 
all right so this is our diamond knurling done and dusted all right come on don't do me that all right here here we go so the next one that we have to draw is the external um treading all right so well it might be on a screw um not 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 but bolt doesn't really matter so this is our diamond knurling um we're doing our external um treading so how is this going to look for the external threading i'm just going to start by drawing a rectangle as again rectangle like this external threading and let me just put a head on it so maybe depicting something like a screw or something let me make this at an angle the angle is not important this is just a sketch and let me just mirror to the other side let me turn on ortho all right like that and i'll cross off the top like this all right now what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be offsetting i'm going to try two inwards oh let me explode this first x enter offset two like this oops that went on the outside like this and this represent my um treading saying that it's going all the way up to here so this is the treading external threading um offset let me just do the same thing here in this draw line down to here and one down to here and then i can possibly yeah i'm going to leave it there and just clean up my drawing i'm getting rid of here and i'm getting rid of here um no further use there i can get rid of that so this is my external screw treading so let me move things up a bit so when I'm labeling, things look a bit neater. Let me copy this text over here to over here. And this is our external screw tread. That's what it said. All right, so 2019 external um, thread, thread, threading. All right, that's what that is going to look like. So now we can move on to these here. I um, hope you can see my cursor, orthographic view, sectional orthographic view of these here, internal threading, um, counter some pole, counter bore, all that stuff. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be drawing another rectangle, nice rectangle, over there, that's good enough. And I'm going to be doing the internal threading first, alright? So what am I going to be doing, I'm just going to draw a random line somewhere along here, and let me just stop it there trim away the top and I'm going to offset that line there by um, I don't know let me just copy it because this is a sketch anyways and I'll just mirror to the other side am I hard? No. all right so this is this here I'm going to have to redraw that let me just keep it there because I'm going to need the center line anyways all right, so for the internal screw threading, um, so if you remember for the external threading, we offset it inwards. For the internal um, threading, um, what we do, we offset outwards, if you want to call it like that. All right. Or oh, enter. Or you can offset inwards. It doesn't really matter at this point. We're just doing a sketch. So two, let me just offset inwards. Make things a lot simpler because I want to put all three sketches inside of here. So this is representing our internal um, threading. All right, so that's our internal threading. So now we're going to be doing the others, such as um, the um, the counter sunk and counter bore. So let me just copy um, everything here. This oh, we're at nine minutes already. All right, so let me just copy this. One copy there, one copy over here. Maybe we can move this a bit more to the middle. 
All right, cool. So this is our, um, did we say internal threading right here? This is our internal threading. The double line represent the threading. So let me just copy this, put it here, internal, internal. All right, let me just restart. So it's internal right there. All right, this one here is your counter song call. Now for the counter um, song call, it's going to look similar to this like this. However, the lines are angled or the portion that is counted is an angled portion. So that's what make it um, a counter song. All right. So the angle that I'm going to be using is you can use 45. It doesn't really matter. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to export this um, rectangle here. X, enter. Um, let me offset this line down by about 5. Offset 5. That's too little. Offset. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use my eyeball. I'm going to eyeball it since it's just sketch. About here. Alright, cool. I don't sh I'm not sure what that is. Let me check the measurement. Um, 13. Thir oh, it's 16. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be offsetting. Um, should I be doing this? 16. 16. Half of 16 is what? 8. O. Enter. 8. And I offset on either side of this line like this. And then I simply draw lines from that corner down to the intersection there. And from there to here. That will represent my counter um, sunk hole. Um, for this one over here, it's going to be my counter bore hole. It's going to be the same treatment. What I'll be doing is that I'll be offsetting the um, 8 on either side here, like this. Alright, I'm going to be cleaning up my drawing now using my trim command. And I'm getting rid of here. So follow along. Here. Here as well. Get rid of this portion here. Leaving everything there. Alright. On this side here, I'm getting rid of here, here, um, all of this here as well, getting rid of here, here, all right, um, also inside of here, all right, so for that I'm unable to trim, I'm just going to erase those, all right, so, um, now because this is a sectional view, it means that we're going to be hatching the solid portion that we cut through, these lines should be center lines, all right, um, these lines here are going to be um, solid lines. All of these here, solid lines. If it was not a section view, then all of these lines on the inside of these of this rectangle would be in detail. But since it's a sectional view, as it was stated here, sectional view, um, it's as if we cut through the object. All right, so let's hatch the pattern using the steel hatch so let's scroll until we see the one that says steel 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 oh here it is all right and we're hatching here 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 and here all right so here we have our um counter sum call cp here and let me just add another one here and let me just add the name. So this is your counter. Double tap again. Erase what's inside there. Sunk. All caps, sorry. Spell it correct, counter board. Alright, yeah, I believe so. So here we have our different um 
things and I believe our sketch and design is complete so we have our diamond knurling we have our um, external screw thread we have our internal threading we have our um, counter sunk we have our counter board all right all of these should be on the relevant layers so we, we basically did it in half the time that they said it should take all right good little sketch and design section all right so um i hope this video was helpful um please do um leave a like um you may share it with a friend so that they can know how to create these different conventions such as um, the diamond knurling, um, external screw, screw thread, internal screw thread, counter sunk hole and counter bore hole. Alright, now again please like, share and subscribe, hit that notification bell so when I post past your questions like this you're, you'll be notified and be able to consume some of this knowledge that I'm sharing with you guys. Alright, so um, after you finish here the only thing that's remaining is for you to do your laying out. I have my drawing environment already set up here so um, nothing is a hassle here so all I need to do is just zoom in around my drawing if you want you could do it to scale but it's not really necessary since all of this here is a sketch all right so here you go let's see what it will look like when we do a print preview let's see preview all right and that's what it will look like all right um, again, you could add your center line to these features. I'm going to go ahead and do so now. And since you would have completed within 15 minutes, you can always do modification to these drawings um, accordingly. Um, improve on them even more than they are already, making them even better. All right, so you add the center lines. Alright, so see you in the next um, video tutorial. Bye-bye.